Welcome to Wednesday's Word of Wisdom. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about relationship. We touched a little bit on it um, last time. So come on back and see what we've got for you. And we're back. So we kind of teeny tottered on it last week. And I wanted to to really bring it back again about being in relationship. And I was washing dishes. Y'all, the Lord talks to me when I'm washing dishes sometimes. (laughs) Uh, So I was washing dishes and I was really thinking about the subject of relationship. And, you know, with, with Google, there's all this information out there. So pick your favorite person. Uh, actress, football, basketball, whatever you pick your favorite person, right? And you can go on Google and find out anything about them, right? You can find out their full legal name, if they've changed their name, what they've changed it to. You can find out their parents. You can find out where they were born, what high school they went to. The information out there is limitless, right? Within reason of what you can find out about this individual. So you have your person, you know everything about this person. Let's say it's a sports person. You know all their stats, you know all the games that they played, where they're from, what high school, on and on and on and on and on. You have a wealth of information on this person. Do you have a relationship with that person? Your favorite sports player, just because you know their name, their birthday, their parents' names, what city they went to uh, school, what, uh, what colleges they played for, and now what professional sports, does that mean you you have you've collected all this information about the person do you have a relationship with that person i have some of that same information about david right uh, what high school he went to who his parents are his birthday right but what makes the difference between having that information and having a relationship with that person right and one key difference is that person also knows you right right so just because you know this famous sports person, does that person know you? Does that person even know your name? Does that person know your favorite color, right? And that's what I was thinking. Like Sometimes that's how it is with our relationship with, with our Heavenly Father, with Jesus. We know all this information, but do we have a relationship? Does God know you? Yeah, too many times because we live in this Google world, we live in a thing that we think that the computer is going to give us the right answers all the time. Little hint, it doesn't. You can search for, like she said, for these stats or whatever. You may get a couple different answers. Which one's right? Okay. And we live in that information age with the Bible as well. Let's say we hear somebody talk about Jesus. We can go to Google and we can look it up. That doesn't mean we have a relationship with Jesus, does it? Um, I can pull it up on my phone. Like all of us can, if we have the app, we can read it right there. But do we have a relationship with the author? Yes. You know, Jesus says, um, he's talking about being a good shepherd in John 10. He says, just as my father knows me and I know the father, so I sacrifice my life for the sheep. He says he knows his sheep. His sheep know him. So all these actors and actresses that you're making rich by paying for their movies or games, whatever it is, they could care less about who you are. They don't even know your name. You can send them a big check and they still won't know who you are. They just see the money. So you really don't have a relationship with them. You know, back in Bible days, a lot of marriages were arranged. There's still other countries that are like that. So you really don't know the other person until the wedding night. How many of you here in America would actually do that? You never see the person you're going to marry until that night. That's kind of counterintuitive to me. I want to know the person. You want to know the person. So the same amount that you put into this relationship, are you putting into that with God? Do you know his voice? If Jesus walked into the room right now, would you know it as Jesus or you see it as an interruption? Because if I know who Jesus is, I'm going to know when he walks in. Paul talks about entertaining angels. 
this person might be an angel and you're how are you living are you living that relationship with jesus to know okay this is jesus absolutely and so that's our challenge for you this week test your relationship do you just have a head knowledge of jesus have you heard all the stories and 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 read all these different things about who he is and say yeah i know him but do you have a relationship do you allow jesus to be lord and savior of your life do you make room for him to step into your world and give you direction do you give him authority to speak into your life i mean if you pass a stranger on the street and a stranger says hey you should quit your job and go to that job would you do it but if someone who were who you were in relationship with said, "Hey, I have some wise counsel for you," and that wise counsel is, I believe the Lord is leading you another direction, then right, because you have a relationship, you trust that person. That is the difference between knowing about someone and being in relationship with someone. It's a two-way communication and a two-way street, and we've talked about that before. Like when you get into a secret place, you know, not just sitting there and, and reading and praying and then run off, but actually sitting and allowing the Lord, allowing uh, the Holy Spirit to, uh, to to minister to you, to speak to you, to lead and to guide you. And that is the key difference in a relationship, allowing the Lord to change and transform you from the inside out, right? He brings out the best in us, right? He wants the best for us. And that is what we do. We make room for him and that starts the relationship when david and i were dating i had to make room i had to make time for him right we couldn't have just had one conversation and say well, check these boxes your favorite color your favorite movie okay now i know about you i'm gonna keep it moving no i had to make room for him and i accept and receive his counsel right and not vice versa and so we have that uh, that relationship it goes a little bit deeper in depth okay so talk about head knowledge we talked about relationship now head knowledge is good if you do something with it ah yeah okay just because i can google something and I, okay then a little bit more to store in this little part of my brain but i'm not going to live it i'm not going to seek to have that relationship with the person that i'm studying about so many people will study about all these other things they'll look up stuff about jesus they can win an argument maybe but as it got from here about 18 inches down into our heart and into how we live. Absolutely. So don't just seek for head knowledge. Yes. Do seek for head knowledge, but not just head knowledge. That's right. That's Let right. it come from here down into our heart in everything we do, seeking that relationship with Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Let it transform your life. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye. <laughs>